We're here for chapter five. La I don't remember what this game's called anymore. Last stop. <laughs> yeah, chapter five, last stop. Let's jump into it. Paper dolls. The next station is Cobbett Square. Good one. Previously on last stop. So, what happens now? I guess we figure out how to fix this. Why don't you just go to the doctor? Fellas, you realise April Fool's Day was months ago. I'm gonna have to think really hard what our next approach is, Jack. How's your heart, John? My heart? I had a mild heart attack a few months back. What's this? I'm cleaned down. How am I gonna pay for this place without any cash? One of us needs to get a job. Why don't you get your old job back, Dad? Exactly. My job back. Making do. Good old Dingwall Tower. Dunwall, that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> I'll try my best, wish me like can't believe it. That is a nice suit. Well, um, I'll give it my best shot. Remember, it doesn't matter that my CV says you've got no experience. It's not about that at this stage. As long as they like you, you'll be fine. You got this. Trust me, I have interviewed a hundred people before. Don't forget to tuck your shirt in. Own the room. Mm -hmm. We need pack alpha. <clears throat> Chew on a mint so your breath isn't gross. Oh dear, thanks. All valuable advice, thank you very much. Look them in the eye and say, I am Jack Smith. Bring home the bacon. Yeah, it's good. You suck, Clive. It's fine. If I get a chance, I'm going to murder you. CVs? Pointless. I don't think you can judge a man's character from a piece of paper. You agree? It's all about the one-on-one. -on -one. Man on man. Sure. May as well agree. Sure. I'll let you in on a secret. This job, easy. A monkey could do it. I'm after an individual. Someone that could fill my shoes in years to come. Good. Your shoes. Easy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, good. Oh, good. Because I'm not looking for a stressful life. You know, the problem with the public sector is that it's full of grey, dead weight. A bored to me eyeballs, mate. A bunch of corpses everywhere. Give him what he wants. Someone young. Corpses. Give him what he wants. You're looking for someone more like you? Yes, exactly. You a football man, Jackie boy? Of course you are. Come on, who are you? Uh, well, I'm Arsenal. Arsenal. Sorry, I'll say Good Arsenal. Good man. You know the Queen's a gooner. Anyway, you've got friends here, mate. Although, don't expect to get much action around here. <laughs> we are lacking some serious talent. Mm. But you know what they say. Don't shit on your own doorstep. Play his game charming. Humour him. Uh, let's humour him. It's a mantra I hold dearly. I've got a bunch of other applicants to see today, but I'm going to go ahead and cancel them. When can you start? <laughs> yeah, that was easy. Get in! You get to work with the misogynist. Yay! Hey, Dad! How's the interview? It was really good, Molly. Thank Clive. Got it. Thank Jack. You were right, Jack. Clive didn't even look at my CV. What can I say? I got it. Woo woo! <laughs> Pizza on Dad! Stuff crust, who's up for it? Gonna enjoy this. Who's up for some celebratory takeaway? No. I think I'll have an early night. Congrats, etc. Well, of course he's gonna be upset. What's up with Jack? Too hungry, leave him. He's alright. Who knows? Are you in the mood for spicy beef? Or barbecue chicken? Chicken! Who doesn't like chicken? Good call, Molly. But I feel I feel for Jack now. Dad! I'm like, I know. It's always me. Why do I always do this? Jack's still asleep in the living room, so I couldn't watch TV this morning. When I went in there, he was snoring, just like you used to. You know, really loudly. 
I guess the snoring must have stayed in your old body. I wonder what else Jack has that used to be yours. Maybe he has your handwriting. Do you remember when Mrs. Adelecki didn't believe that you signed my homework diary because she didn't think that that was written by an adult? <laughs> oh, John. It's going to be funny the next time we have parents' evening. Maybe I can say I have two dads. If Jack is going to sleep in the living room forever, maybe we should get one of those pull-out sofa beds. Actually, Jack can have my room. I'll sleep in the sofa. That way I can watch TV all the time. Yeah, good call, Molly. So you're living the it's so you're living the same life. I know you need money. What? Go and talk to, to to Jack. Come on, John. You've stolen Jack's life. Forgot something? Have I? Um. Phone. I'll ring it. Wake John up. Come on. Easy does it. What you doing? Morning. I just needed my phone. <sighs> Race ya. Dad. Too slow. I know about your predicament. Come see me. <laughs> the vape? The vape lord. Wait, didn't the vape lord's name come up in like episode one and I made a joke about it? I swear it did. Oh, maybe I just yield vape shop. Anyway. Oh no, there was a character played called the vape lord. Okay. And we're about to meet him. So let's go do it. Vape lord. Vapes, liquid accessories, and more. All right. Yes, this is a weird room. Vape so Lord. I got a strange note through my door from <clears throat> someone called the Vape Lord. Is that you? Hello, yes, that was me. Which one am I talking to? You haven't swapped into someone else, have you? Oh my God, yes, yes. You know about this? I heard you and that other fellow on that podcast, you know, behind the curtain. Good show, that. Bit too many ads, but who am I to complain? <laughs> anyway, Frank has been searching everywhere for you. You what? For Frank? What's this about? Who's Frank? Frank? What you on about? Yeah. You know, Frank, the guy that cursed you on the tube platform a couple of weeks ago. He's my brother. Cursed. Rings a bell. Fix it. Rings a bell. Yes, something seems vaguely familiar. That's how this all started. Firstly, let me say how sorry he was. Commuter rage. You know how it is. He was actually on his way out of here when you bumped into him. Bit of a whinger. Didn't much like Britain in the end, so he headed back to the old country. It's such a shame he left so soon. I can meet him. Tell me where he is. I just want it reversed. Fine. Look, just tell me where he is, and I'll book a flight and meet him. Well, to be honest, mate, I was kind of hoping you'd take some e-liquid as compensation, or that'd be the end of it. I won't press chat. Is that a joke? I'll call the police. Are you having a laugh? I want this sorted! Yeah. If you really want to see him, I guess oh, I've got no vape choice. Lord. Is it dimension? Like, this interdimensional? Alright. Listen. I'm going to need a little bit of time to prepare. Write your number down and I'll give you a buzz. Alright. Oh, that was cool. Come on, vape boy. Come on, vape boy. Oh, can you vape it up? I don't remember who went missing in the, the, the prologue. Sorry. I don't remember. <laughs> I'm supposed to know or pay attention to any of it. Don't make a habit of being late like this. We can still make it, sorry, in the doghouse. Sorry, Shaz. So how are you finding mucking in with us? 
Wasn't it a bit low to steal John's job? Change the subject. Say I, say I was supportive. Ignore the... He was happy for me to take it over some idiot that Clyde might have hired. I hope he's doing okay. I felt so upset for him when he got let go. He worked so hard here just to be discarded like that. Yeah. You'll be Sometimes you get a second chance in life. You never know. Maybe. Well, get a move on, Mr. Ambitious. Don't want to keep your mate Clive waiting. Well, he's not my mate. He just I'm doing what I have to. Just tell her that. She must know. I'd better get inside. Perhaps we got off on the wrong foot. Why don't we grab a drink sometime? You know, get acquainted. Are you asking me out? I mean, as friends. I could bring John along if you want. Nah, you're good. I think we might need to do another one of our performance reviews. Do we have to talk about this now? Ooh, a bit defensive. We'll have to talk about how we can manage that temp... Jackie boy, how's my star player doing? I was just telling this delectable beauty she's going to have to up her game if she wants to keep pace with a trailblazer like you. Can I go to my desk, please? You get those emails, the Photoshop ones of you-know-who. Ha-ha! <laughs> have you been sharing doctored photos of me? Yeah. He yeah, did himself. Yeah. I got them. And classics, I'm sure you'll agree. I don't care if you get fired. Oh, they're definitely memorable. I don't imagine HR will be forgetting them anytime soon. I figured they'd want to be in another joke too. Yeah. You sly goose. Betrayed by your own wingman, Clive. Oh, that's got to hurt. You're just having me on, right, Jack? Just to wind up? I don't give a fuck about you, Clive. What would Clive say? I guess you could say that you just shat on your own doorstep. Oh, bugger. Yes, I did. Welcome to technical support. To help us with your query, in your own words, please describe your problem. <sighs> Here we go. These things never understand me. Oh, John never liked those things either. We're sorry to hear you're having difficulties. We'll transfer you to an operator. You are number one in the queue. I guess it's your lucky day. Is that what you... Ah, yes, suck shit, Clive. Oh, that was cute. Well, he's clearly team teamwork makes the dream work. Are they in love? Is that what's going on? Hey, Shaz. Hey, I'm heading home. Walk to the station. That stunt you pulled on Clive was great. You should have said you were going to stitch him up like that. Still feel bad. Good. Finally did it. I feel it's the sort of thing John always wanted to do, but couldn't. He's got it in him. He just likes to play it careful. Same time tomorrow, take care, bye. Same time tomorrow? Same time tomorrow. Promise I won't be late again. You're all right, you know. I can see that Smith family resemblance. Come on! Tell John that I'm missing, okay? But John, you gotta, you gotta help Jack out. The vape lord, saving the day. Why don't you like us anymore, Jack? I thought we were friends. Oh, yeah, but Jack's probably having a Dad, problem. Jack's leaving us. Yeah, all right, Molly. Now that you're sorted with your job and everything, I figured this would be a good time for me to move on. You know, try and get my life back on track. He's moving up north. I applied for a uni course in Hull. Computer science. I've got the loans sorted and everything. It starts in September. What about Molly? He can't leave. It's my body. What about Molly? Where's all this come from? I thought we were doing well. It's been a few this weeks. This is a decision we need to make together. <laughs> what? 
I'm sorry, but I'm not sure I can let you leave. What about Molly? Have you thought of that? Yeah, what about me? You can't let me. There's more to me than these four walls. We love you, Jack. Please don't leave us. We have to face the facts here. We aren't ever going to be the same again. You realise I've got a mum and dad, right? I've got mates. I, I need to figure out how to explain this to them. Vape world, we can switch. I may have a solution. I may have a solution. You're wrong. Listen, <laughs> I, I, I spoke to this guy. He says he can help us. He calls himself the vape lord or something. John, mate, listen to yourself. You're losing it. Tell him that he's his brother. I get the whole parent thing. I understand that you're worried. But no offence, you lucked out on this deal. You've got to be a young man again. But I've lost out on 20 years. Just shut up for once and listen. This guy can reverse the effects. He knew all about us. Doesn't that interest you? He's playing a prank on you, you idiot. He's winding you up. He's pulling your string. I have never met anyone so unwilling to face the music. When you're having a bad run, sometimes you have to press reset. <laughs> Jesus, and you could try going to the gym occasionally. Dad, you're hurting him. Turn it down. Hey, just just settle down. Something's wrong. Heart attack. Dad, do something. Help me. Jack. Oh, Jack, he's having a heart attack.